Well, 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 back to our old stomping grounds. We're gonna go Everyone, we are level Jurassic three. Park. Jurassic Park level three. Right there. That can only mean one thing. Let's go to Universal Studios. So this is how we do. Uh, it's been a very long time since we've been to this park, so we have a lot that we've got to catch up on. And uh, a lot of things that the kids haven't done. So we get to do all that stuff. Like it's the first time. So yeah, let's go inside and see what Universal is actually up to these days. Sunday morning crowd, everybody's showing up at the same time. Shouldn't be too bad today. I know that after the rain kind of dried up, the crowds started to come back. So we'll see what it looks like today. It shouldn't be that bad. So everybody's showing up, but everybody's, it looks like everybody's probably going to Mario Land because everything right now is like five minutes, except for Mario, Mario's 60, but everything else is like five to 10. So we're gonna go do Harry Potter first. Well, the monsters came out already. They still got the walls up over New York windows. Looks, the facade looks good. It's all painted, it's all nice. Um, so it's only a matter of time, I guess, before they put these walls down. That'll be good to see what that looks like when it's done. I'm sure that's pretty much what it's gonna look like, but then we get the whole, the whole, um, the whole experience when those walls come down. So where the Fast and Furious ride is coming in, they've got these tractors like all up in the front. So they are bringing the heat. The, that looks like it's probably gonna be the loading platform there on the other side of the wall here. We'll go around the other side and look at what it looks like around there too. Here's what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, well there's nobody here. They must be taking the day off obviously. We caught them on an off day, but just in the short amount of time uh, since the last footage I saw of any of this, uh, they've all, I mean, they're, if you look up by the uh, entrance, where the entrance, where the queue and stuff is gonna be, that is, that's, it looks like that's where they're dedicating all of their time and their focus right there, their main focus. Obviously, they're, they're, they're doing this stuff down here as well. But what I'm expecting, if you can see, they're kind of, they're, they're dredging out a little, a little run there next to where the, the, the tram is going right now. It looks like that, from the concept art anyway, that's gonna be a straightaway uh, to a 180, which would be so dope. And it looks like, if you look like here, I think these are the, this is kind of the baseline to where the track is gonna run up through here. And so you're gonna go up and down and you're supposed to, from the art, loop underneath the, um, loop underneath the escalators. So I don't know what the ultimate plan is, but if you look, man, they got all the power installed and everything and they're dedicating a lot of time and effort to this. We're hoping for 2024, but if they gotta wait till 2025, I'm okay with that too, as long as it's good. And I think it's gonna be good. So Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey it is. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make it happen. The kids have never ridden this ride before, so. Okay, one of the kids has ridden this ride when he was very young. But the other two, not so much. So let's see, let's see what the hype is all about here. It's kind of fun when you can just walk right into this thing, huh? It's a long queue too. They don't mess around with these. Who? We're just going through the whole thing. Is it right here? I don't know. All these moving pictures are so freaking awesome. I love it so much. It's a choosing hat. He stopped talking for me. I don't want to stress how awesome and efficient Omnimovers are. Every park should have an Omnimover, not straight on, straight off. This is how rides are supposed to be. Now we're gonna do the little this little family coaster. And the line, all these lines right now are walk-ons. It's uh it's 10:30, 10:30, and we okay. I we have it says five minute wait. So and before we leave Harry Potter World, we get butter beers. Refreshing. Bring back all the memories. Heading over to Super Silly Funland. Oh, also think I'm getting chased by a garbage can. So it said this was a 20 minute wait, but we're already at the front. I'm gonna gauge this. It's 10.50. 10.50 and we just jumped in line. So let's see if it takes us to 11.20. I don't know if, that's good, if that counts the pre-show or 11.10, I'm sorry. I don't know if that counts the pre-show or not, but we're gonna find out. I count the pre-show always as part of the ride, so. Row number five, good row. 
And obviously, we're going to Minions Cafe to eat because that's how we roll around here. We went a little, with a little bit of a variety. Well, sort of. Eventually, they're going to get their, uh, their their ramen. Is it pork ramen? Pork ramen. Jensen went tried and true. Gotta love it. Went with the, the mac and cheese. I did the uh, pulled pork um, grilled cheese and then meatball parm cheese. Oh, we're celebrating Dad's Meatball parm birthday. cheese. Oh my yeah. gosh. You guys outed me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Everybody has to know that you are the man. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Oh, Yay. no, he just likes us. Yay. Woo. Dad's birthday. I see y'all talking at the same time. I can't hear you. One, one at a time. One at a time. Oh, my goodness. I know. Oh, my goodness. That's a hard one right there. I like to get messy, but I also like to know it, though. And then the word on the street is that they're going to be opening up a soft open for Power Up Cafe here pretty soon, too. Um, it looks like it's almost done. It's pretty close. We're excited for some more foods. And now we do Shrek. No, not Shrek. Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda. I didn't. I never saw the Shrek one. I saw Kung Fu Panda. And we come to Springfield, perhaps the, uh, the last year that we have Springfield, maybe? The last year we see the Ouija's, at least the last couple of years. Uh, the word on the street is that they are not going to re-up this license. So we could be seeing something new in this part of the park uh, within the next, I don't know, three, four, five years, something like that. Okay, we're done with Springfield. Let's go on the studio tour now and see what's going on back there. What's going on down there? Give us the scoop. It says the restrooms are open, but the sign upstairs said that the restrooms aren't open down here. It said to use the upstairs restroom. So, I don't know. They're just doing a little... They got the snack, the snack cars up at the top of the escalators too. It's time to take a tour. Dun dun, dun dun, dun 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 dun. So this is Skull Island, huh? It smells like Butt Island. Oh! Oh! The water's not clear enough to me right now. Oh man! Oh, there it is. I'm hearing some trouble over the radio. There's nobody in the water. Have eyes on George. No. Oh, there he is. There's George. Okay, there's George. Everybody say hi, George. Hi, George. Hi, George. It's not the time Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, now, George's sacrifice has allowed us to hide behind these totally safe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's hot. He's coming. He's coming right now. Oh, man, he's coming. Oh, jeez. You gonna be okay? Yeah, get in. There's a lot of stuff that was different about the tram tour that I remember um, from before. They, I didn't even realize it till the end, but they took the earthquake, yeah. um, the little earthquake room out. That's gone. They are still doing Fast and Furious, which it is what it is, I guess. Uh, the base motel is it's still cut in half. But, um, the guy wasn't there this time. but Norman Bates is up at his mansion doing his thing now. But I don't know if they're going to... I, I'm assuming they're going to reconnect that and, and fix that before Halloween time, before Horror Nights. And then um, what's going on on the hill behind it, it hasn't changed in the last couple of weeks. But uh, that's the tram tour. Other than that, everything else is the same. Can somebody tell me what these are for? Because I did not see these um, at Horror Nights this year. Well, does anybody know what these little beams are for? Did they, are these for the Fast and Furious ride? That would be sweet. That would be noise. What is it? Some sort of book? I want to open it. Open it, Kenley. Read it. Book. You guys are going to get in trouble. You guys are going to get cursed. I guess I'm not the With prince. immortality. Not Never going to stress this okay. enough. Theming. Line theming. It's even a 30 minute wait in line. It's still fun because there's stuff to do, things to see, and you feel immersed in the world before you even ride the ride. Line theming. Get it. So we're in the middle of the day now. This is the wait times for everything. This is not bad, guys. I mean, it's Sunday, so it's not like a busy day. But boom, Mario Kart, 45 minutes. That's that's kind of how you can gauge how the day is going to be. Secret Life of Pets right now is the biggest wait at 55, and that's gonna that's gonna go down real real quick. But these wait times aren't bad. They've been super duper efficient today. Obviously, we're not gonna do 
a day at Universal without doing Jurassic World. The vast ocean is home to an explosion of life at the top of the food You get so scared, it's the Lapasaurus. Oh, they're everywhere! Blue. Blue's gonna help us. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What's wrong? He's not here! Oh. I see the oh, you get, need to get Cricket pops. What do they got? Or they got yeah. bacon and cheese. Bacon and cheese crickets. That's Sour cream and onion sorry. crickets. Oh, Salt and vinegar no, crickets. No, not bad. That's too big. And these That's these are definitely real crickets, y'all. Those are definitely real crickets. Now, on to Transformers. Time to go! It's already time to go. Ah! Ah! It's Ravage. He's after the Allspark. Okay, now that that's all done, it's time to explore a new world, guys. I've never been to Super Nintendo World. So, see what let's see what Super Nintendo World is all about. Took a little pipe to Bowser's castle here. The Goombas. There we are. All right, let's see what this is all about. We're gonna ride. We're gonna do Bowser's challenge. We're gonna ride the ride. 60 minutes ain't bad. We'll see if it's actually 60 minutes. Everything's been shorter than that. We're like in like a gem cave. It's all echoey. Up into the clouds. We're gonna go through a drain pipe to another land. The 60 minutes begins now. Trying to get some of these bombs right here, dude. We got bullet bills over there. Oh, they're making them. Clicker on it, get it walking. Boop. Now get out of here, you bother me. Now it's time to race. <laughs> what goes better after a uh, Mario Kart race than Jurassic Cafe, Isla Burger, maybe a smoked brisket sandwich? This ain't that bad, guys. This food over here is all right. Let me give you my thoughts on this Mario ride. So it said it was an hour. It did take about an hour to get there. But the first 35 minutes or so, it flew by. It was constant. We were constantly walking all the way. It's when you start getting to the pre-show, and then they start just kind of corralling you from room to room. And then they give you the visor and basically just expect everybody to be on an honor system to get back in line. It didn't work out well. We, uh, we took a long time to get back down the stairs to get to the actual the, the loading dock, the little loading room. So everything was fine. It's just those last two rooms, they got to do them. Put, put bars or something up to separate the lines and keep them separated so it's not just a free-for-all because that's that's that kind of took us out kind of almost made us not like the ride the ride's fine it's more of a game than a ride but uh the, 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 the end of the line there after the pre-show doesn't really it's not really doesn't seem necessary at all it's not moving forward uh the story at all it's just giving you the instructions on how to do stuff but you can just have that the videos of that stuff playing while you're in line. Like they do with Transformers or the Harry Potter ride or any of that other stuff. Just thoughts. Deep thoughts. By Jack Candy. Secret layer gets dirty. I mean I'll be fine. But Molly can get seriously grounded or lose cell phone privileges. I mean, come on, look at you. Now you definitely got fleas, don't you? Get out of their way. Okay, okay, all right, okay. That's a big boy. You don't want to go say hi to him? No. You see, he just wants to shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> big waves, big waves. Oh, it's a dance off? Uh oh. Oh, a dance off. He's trying to just get his beat. He's trying to just get his rhythm right now. Nice. 
You'll get it. You'll get it. There you go. See, look at he's going. He's getting it. Getting it. Getting it. Oh man. Oh. Oh, he's so. You guys made him sad. It was a fun time. We did everything, right? Mm -hmm. we did everything in, in no, we didn't. less than a full day. Oh, we didn't. What? What didn't we do? We did like we didn't do like the silly swirl. Okay. Correction. We didn't do everything. We didn't do the silly swirl. But we did everything else. Another day at Universal. Now, on to the next one. What's that, Kinley? Catch you on the flip. She gets it.